Hello there, this is Dr. Mintz. This is a patient who presented to the emergency room with abdominal pain. A CT was performed, CT abdomen and pelvis, without oral or IV contrast. I'll scroll through here to just give you an overview of what we have. I'll go a little more slowly back up. And you can see the limitation of the study because of the lack of IV contrast and oral contrast. We do not see the delineation of bowel loops as clearly. You can see bowel and where bowel is and bowel content, but it's a little harder to identify what part of the bowel you're looking at. Okay, so before we go into the findings, let's make sure we cover our ground. We have to look at the liver, spleen, and pancreas. The liver already has some abnormalities in it that we need to address. What are these abnormalities? Well, they are air lucencies in tubular structures in the liver. Well, what tubular structures could they be in? Well, you have the bile ducts uh, and you have portal venous branches and hepatic veins, all of which are tubular structures in the liver. But this pattern of air in tubular structures that goes all the way to the perimeter of the liver is typical of portal venous gas. That means gas or air is in the portal venous system. And that's because the portal veins drain, as you know, from the mesentery, from the bowel in the mesentery, and from all bowel, and as well as the spleen, the spleen, the splenic vein, joins the superior mesenteric vein to form the portal vein. We won't see that very clearly here because there's no IV contrast. But when you have then ischemia, infarction, or vascular compromise in an area of bowel, the bowel wall breaks down and that allows air to form in the bowel wall. And that's what we're seeing right here. So here we have cecum, and here we see this stool-like appearance with small air-filled structures that are, that's just part of the stool in the cecum. And we have here this little rim that looks like it's in the wall itself of the cecum, and that is pneumatosis intestinalis, that's another term to use for it, pneumatosis intestinalis, which just means that there's air in the bowel wall. So that's a very, very worrisome finding in and of itself. And that air, just like the nutrients in the bowel, get picked up by the portal venous system and taken to the liver, so does air that's in the bowel when there's a breakdown of the bowel wall because of ischemia. And so this air that is in the wall of the bowel gets picked up by the portal venous system and gets taken back to the liver. And there in the liver, it fills these portal venous branches that go out to the perimeter of the liver. So this is a telltale sign of bowel ischemia. So we didn't get very far in our list of looking at structures including the liver, spleen, and pancreas because we got stopped right at the liver. But that's the finding that we have here. And if we look at the spleen, the spleen looks normal. Uh, the adrenal gland on the left looks a little thickened. You see how it's thickened here? So that could be adrenal hyperplasia. I don't see a discrete mass. The adrenal gland on the right side looks pretty normal, has a thin limb, thin limbs of the adrenal gland on the right. The left, however, looks much more full. And I think that's probably some adrenal hyperplasia. The gallbladder, let's see if we see the gallbladder here. Yeah, has some high attenuation material in it. And that could be stones or sludge. Or if the patient has had a prior 
IV contrast exposure. Once in a while, you can get excretion of the contrast in the gallbladder, so that's a possibility there too. Uh, kidneys appear pretty unremarkable. There's the right kidney. Here's the left. The abdominal aorta is normal in size. And let's look in the pelvis. Is there any free fluid? Here's the urinary bladder. Here's the rectum. I don't see any free fluid here. No free fluid. So an important case, and let me show you first before we sign off here, the coronal images. The coronal images show you that this air in the liver is going all the way to the perimeter. And this pattern of these little finger-like protrusions of air-filled structures in the liver is typical of what we when we have a pneumatosis intestinalis and bowel ischemia with portal venous air. So this is portal venous air we're seeing, and it is the subsequent effect of having bowel ischemia. So on a KUB or an upright, you might see this pattern of air in the region of the liver. And it's very important to notice this because this is a surgical emergency and uh, requires urgent care because this is an immediately life-threatening condition. Okay, so cecal ischemia, bowel ischemia with pneumatosis intestinalis in the wall of the cecum, which has been picked up by the portal venous system and distributed to the liver, producing this portal venous gas pattern, characteristic of pneumatosis uh, secondary to bowel ischemia and the uh, error that subsequently gets transported to the liver in the uh, portal venous branches. Okay, that's all for now.